87, I, I would probably say, is probably the apex of the tidal wave of the horsemen. People wanted to like Arn, they wanted to like Rick, and they didn't want to like me. I kept us, I kept the group pulled back the other direction. Why are you so hateable? Ah, just good at it. Nobody was playing a part back in those days. It was, and that's why you had so much success, is because you didn't have to be a different person anywhere. When Luger became, came in and became part of the Horsemen, it was because they hired him, they signed him to a, a contract, and it was our job to get him over as a heel, just like it was our job to keep all the baby faces over mm -hmm. when we wrestled them. Ole was always in charge of his matches, and I was always in charge, so we probably had some <laughs> Power crea <struggle>. creative differences. <laughs> <laughs> is this the right way to get Ole out? How did it work out? Well, I think we drew some money. I mean, I know he beat me up a lot because I had wrestling there for a while. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of my role whenever anybody left the horseman. Uh, I had to wrestle Luger when he left the horseman, too. You were that confident that whoever was put in that place, the horseman machine... No, it wasn't the horseman machine. There were three people that it was the nucleus. And I think history has proven that. And uh, when, when you take, when you took Arn and me out of it, then it crumbled. And they threw every piece of talent they had to try to revive it. The NWA had always thrived with heel champions because heels could go make the babyface stars okay the underdogs always get people charged new york wwf at the time wwe now has always had babyface champions and bad guys get built up to get beat <laughs> And so being a heel up there was not necessarily flattering. Robert and Ricky and Dusty and Wahoo and, and uh, every other baby face that we wrestled, they knew that we would never abuse them or eat them up. So they would do whatever we tell them. You beat up Brad, and then you had to wrestle him and his dad. Right. <laughs> exactly. And, and uh, it, was, it was very hard to get his dad off his feet. <laughs> it was. <laughs> There's a difference in selling and dying. And Ricky sold and didn't die. But the fact that he was fighting to get the tag to Robert, which nowadays you don't tag matches if a guy's not making his own comeback and then giving the guy a dead tag, you haven't seen it. When you create the bunkhouse stampede and you're the booker, do you just get the inalienable right to go over, period? I'm not the right guy to ask. How do you feel? <laughs> Should Dusty have won a copious amount of bunkhouse stampedes? Was anyone even considered? Or, or was it just, the, you know? This is what's going to happen tonight. Didn't even have to be told, maybe. <laughs> See, you had that, you have that innate ability to make people mad. You really, you really do. No, you do. No, you do. You, you do. You just haven't watered it enough. And I, let it... I haven't had to use it, but I use it here. I get my ass kicked for real. You used it. You made a million dollars. No, I didn't. Uh, what? Gene Simmons had a, 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 the code, you know, row, 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 you tell one of the roadies, row four, seat seven, and they would be plucked and brought to the locker room. Like, could, could you turn to Gary Juster and say, you know, no, the big boobs in row seven, and he would then bring them back to no. the horsemen? No, 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 no. no. Okay. 
Did you like the Gary Jester reference in, in, in the context of getting rads for the horse? <laughs> I thought you'd at least be able to appreciate it and have a laugh. <laughs> this is a new man. I love it. <laughs> the power of the, the power of Christ, uh, let's just say. Um, Everybody's easy to work with if they listen to you. 